How's everyone doing, Jackie? Welcome to Marching with Marcelo, episode 2. Episode 1 has done really well, and you guys have got great feedback coming into that. So thank you guys all for the suggestions on who to pick up in the team. Uh, I saw a couple, I think Tyron, I don't know if I pronounced your name right, you asked me to get Chris Wood. Now sadly, um, I didn't pick up Chris Wood for this episode, I'd already recorded, uh, or started recording this episode after you commented it. So I think I need to wait a couple of days before I start picking up upgrades. But some of you guys suggested me to get Sedini, or one of you guys did, um, a gold centre back, which I got from the clean sheet bonus and the draw bonus of the first game and Marcelo's assist. Uh, in the second, um, I got him for 550 and he was about 1000. I also picked up the two attackers for the two goals I got in the second game uh, Romario and this guy Ronel, 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 and Ismail. I also picked up there for 800 in the centre mid for the assist. So, not a bad looking team, not great, obviously. Um, I'm hoping to stay in the BBVA in Brazilian uh, nationality type thing for my team, so we still have some chemistry. Uh, obviously we're still on 93 so if you want you can probably throw in a wild card this episode with an upgrade let's say for example you want me to buy I don't know like Nolito in left wing just to try and get ourselves into the Premier League then I'll go for it but um, the team's looking good it's on good form the striker as a bronze I'm tempted to keep him for a little while and upgrade the rest because he's got two in two goals in two games uh, but yeah, if you're new around here, please subscribe and like this video. Let me know who to get in the comments. Uh, if you're obviously always been a subscriber, then thank you for the support. We've hit 500 subs very recently, so thank you for that. And let's get into the first game. Right, so moving into the first game here, we came up against someone who was adamant to stay in his Bayern Munich kit. Uh, I didn't actually notice, I was just clicking here, you know, come on, start the game. I had to go in my Chinese New Year kit so he could go in his. He also has a Bayern Munich badge. And you guessed it, he has a Bayern Munich team. Pretty good team, probably all the best Bayern Munich players there is. Other than Neuer in goal, he had Leno, uh, Hummels, Lam, you know, you name it, Muller, Robben, Ribéry, Lewandowski, pretty good team. Starting off this clip here, in the third minute, uh, almost fourth, he plays it back to his keeper. Couldn't quite get in with the interception. He's playing some nice passing here, gets through to my third. Plays a weirdly awkward pass under my defender there. Muller takes a touch, bangs it crossbar in. Down, rolls down the back of the net. It was a pretty good finish, I'll give him that. Um, the second thing is actually our goal. So we managed to pick up a goal in the 15th minute. A lobbed over the top through ball to Romario. Um, closing in on the 17th minute, I think, is when we score. Ball back over to uh, Marcelo. Weird touch. Marcelo makes up for his mistake there. We take the ball with Romario, or whoever this is, Romel, Romil. Out wide, headers it in, um, and an easy penalty spot finish, but... Nevertheless, it was still a goal. Right, he's on the attack here, and I obviously managed to clear it out. Goes right back to his defence, can't get in on it. He's got the ball out wide, plays it in to his player. Back out wide, nice 1-2 with his players. Takes it all the way out to the line round by Marcelo. Back in, Marcelo's just been absolutely played there. Back inside, some nice 1-2 passing. Straight down the middle to Lewandowski. Finesse with the left foot, hits the post, and we managed to... Oh, I thought I'd managed to clear it. He managed to clear it there. Now, I got the ball, and he just gets it back instantly. And that was the reoccurring theme in the game. We had some possession, he had most. We were making the most of our chances with the one-on-one -on -one I think we had. Um, and then a cheeky little ball roll there. Nice one, too. Out to Ramil Pablo. Out. Just He makes decent ones, but they're not the best because they're easily intercepted by world-class players. Ball through here. Great save from the keeper. And I'm just on the nick before half-time here. We forced the corner. Bad pass to my player who clears it out. Cheeky back heel from my player and that is half time. So, so far we've got the one uh, forward upgrade with, for the goal. Two on two. We're on par with this guy. Moving into the second half, he has a free kick from 39 yards. Passes it kind of short. Ball gets through. My keeper nicely grabs that. So, glad that he didn't uh, thumble it there. Here we go. Playing it out wide on the counter attack. Lobbed over the top ball. Out to Romario who cuts back inside. Um, like fake shots straight into the defender get a bit of luck to get it back fake shot into the defender again he gets it out um, plays inside back to his centre back and nothing came of that chance uh, here he's trying to get through I play it out luckily you know defending it quite well I felt this game we had even possession but I was kind of whenever I got a chance which wasn't rare if I broke through it was very close whereas he'd break through all the time and I'd just keep shutting him down 
Uh, here I almost got through again, but he just kept passing it in between his midfield. Bit of a rash challenge. I probably shouldn't have got him with there. Got a bit frustrated. Uh, nearly got a booking for that. Here the keeper throws it out wide again. Uh, tried finding Marcelo actually, even though I knew he was further back. Um, so playing it out wide, play it back to Marcelo. I, I fancied using him since he's my best player. And I knew how good he's over the top through balls was in the last episode. Um, so yeah, anyway, I kept playing here. And I tried using my worst players I guess you could call them and they started doing better great pass from Marcelo showing me his worth in the team straight to Pablo and we dabbed on him as you can see here we have a replay of that goal we dabbed on him and it was a really good goal actually I really liked the pass it was a, I think I used a threaded pass I think they called on this um, and he kicks off here gets a nice pass movement going uh, in a little triangle of his players through my team he passes it to no one uh, I accidentally pass it back into him, he gets through with Muller, plays it through to Lewandowski, takes a touch and slides it wide somehow, I don't know how he missed that, uh, pretty fortunate actually, my heart was racing, I was winning a game for once at this point if you guys don't know how the series works, but I'm pretty sure a win gets me two upgrades anywhere, which would mean from the last game we have the, over, uh, the striker upgrade, we'd have three upgrades if we win this as well as the two goals, uh, obviously I'll ex explain at the end what upgrades we actually have um, but yeah so I was actually really happy here we get a bit of a deflection a weird going on there uh, we managed to draw a foul later on nothing really happened until the 80 odd minute like around 80 minute mark um, he's keeping the ball and I should get a cheeky interception played it all the way out wide to my player there somehow got it cuts back inside plays it in the middle uh, Pablo plays it out sadly passing's letting him down um, he plays a great through, in, uh, through ball in some space there. Down the middle, Lewandowski, out wide to Muller. Muller strikes it and misses. And that was the last thing that happened in this game. Um, Sidine, man of the match, so thank you to the guy that suggested him in the comments section. Uh, let me know, obviously, who to get by the end of this. So a goal for Mario, a goal for Pablo, that is 3-3. Three three. He's on great, excellent, excellent form. Um, so that's two attacking upgrades uh, from the first game as well as the win which means two overall upgrades and the assist for Marcelo which means an upgrade anywhere as well. Moving into the second game now I've just moved my mic further away from my mouth so hopefully it doesn't pick up any weird noises and I want the audio uh, quality to be ni nice and crisp. Uh, so yeah moving into the second game we were against a guy uh, called Kangaroo Jack 256 he had a BBVA team with people like Koke, Maratta, um, I think he had a Naki Williams Pretty decent team, um, and Nani. And Nani was a player he liked to use a lot in the team. He had Baran, um, he had what's he called Navas in goal. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, he seemed to use Nani a lot. Like he was doing a lot of skill runs where he'd. It seemed like he'd just flick the stick randomly. He'd like do a shimmy, a ball roll, a roulette, and just kind of go off to the side instead of where the open space was. So I have a feeling he maybe judged my team for being rubbish because it was bronze and just thought he'd just go for loads of skill runs. But in the first clip here, he had a chance, his guy chested it down and my keeper made a save of it. And it did, this game was quite boring, it took a while to actually get going. Uh, I had a couple of chances now and again, he had a couple of chances. And it wasn't really until the first clip in the 28th or something minute that we actually started getting close to the opponent's goal. Here he had another attempt, like I was saying with the skills, he just kicked the ball away from Nani there. Lob ball over the top, doesn't quite get anywhere, gets caught, he plays the ball through, um, and whoever, which, Maratta, that's it, Maratta manages to finish it with the outside of the foot finish. Um, here I play the ball through to my wide man, way up for the overlap, swing the cross in, and there my guy gets, well tr tries to get ahead on it, doesn't quite get uh, ahead on it and it is easily defended. Nani with a couple of skill moves here, a couple of roulettes. I with Pablo is it, um, play a ball through, play Pablo back through and score. So just saying this bronze striker is turning out to be one of the best strikers I've ever used. Like I think has he got 4 in 4 or something, his record at the moment is absolutely incredible. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to say he's absolutely incredible, so I'm hesitant to change him, but I think I'll leave him on the bench as a super sub. I know it sounds weird, but he is bronze, but I've kind of got used to how he plays, obviously. He has got flaws. His passing and his movement aren't great, but they could be better. Um, and a weird finish from Nani there. He kills it round my keeper from the edge of the box. It took a, like about three bounces on the way there. Don't know how my keeper managed to not save that, but 
Hopefully you guys suggest me a keeper so I can upgrade him so we don't um, fall down on the aspect of our goalkeeping. Uh, my player sat on the floor there so sadly we picked up an injury. I think it's for our centre midfielder. I can't remember what his name is. It's the rare bronze guy in the middle. Um, anyway, yeah, he's pulling in with Nani. A couple of skill moves. Easily defended. Felipe Luiz takes the shot. Great goal from a left back. Uh, only the penalty spot, so 5-1. Uh, nothing much happened here for the rest of the game other than him just hammering me. 5-1 was the final score. One of the last plays of the game was me with a free kick. Here I play the ball to my midfielder who plays it into his defender. And the ref blows for full time. Sadly, we didn't win that game like we did the first one. Um, Sidini again with the man of the match so thank you to the guy who recommended that guy one assist from that game which means overall guys we have managed to get ourselves let me just quickly tell this up two forward upgrades um, because we got two goals in the first game we have two forward upgrades we have an overall upgrade from Marcelo also we have an overall upgrade for the first match win oh sorry two so that's three overall upgrades so if you guys wanted we could use those points to get a non-rare um, Liga BBVA or Brazilian goalkeeper. I think non-rare gold goalkeeper is going to be the way to go. And with the assist, we can turn our uh, silver guy to a rare silver or one of the bronzes, maybe the injured guy, to a non-rare silver also. And we also have two forward upgrades, so I think I'm going to use it on the two wingers and maybe get those to two rare silvers. But let me know in the comments what you guys think I should do. If you don't know how the rules of this series works and you're new and you're not actually sure how this episode works, I should have said this at the start, but it will be at the um, description. It's in the description of the first episode, so if you're not sure of it, I'll leave a reminder in this description. Check the first episode for um, the rules. In this description, I'll leave you guys with the options on who to buy. Obviously, the strike is doing well, so I don't think I'm going to change him just yet. Four gold in four games. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new, or if you haven't already, leave a like on the series if you enjoy. And I'll see you guys in my next video.